Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to my SimCity video tutorials. I plan to continue showing you how to build this high vault tourism city. My city has now been renamed as Ruby Road as it goes along with the Emerald Empire and the Topaz Toast. First let me get you up to speed on what I have been doing in the city since the previous video. I have turned on all the police stations and the two fire stations in this city. I have also turned on the Sydney Opera House and the Oslo Opera House and they both cost 2000 per hour. Now they run events that can take only medium wealth and high wealth tourists. When they are full and they are full every day they earn about 100,000 since the event itself costs about 53,000 and their daily upkeep costs you about 48,000 you end up only breaking even. Now is this something that only hasn't been balanced well enough by Maxis or is it meant to be like this? I wouldn't really be able to comment, I would only say that it is not fair. You only end up earning enough to keep it running. But the upside of that is that because of these two buildings and the two operational elegant casinos, yesterday I had 8000 high wealth tourists. 1,700 medium tourists and only 200 low wealth tourists. I have also zoned and built the extra housing for my sims on all of these streets, but I have once again dezoned everything where I do not wish for medium buildings to be built, so my zones are back where they should be for medium density buildings. If I take you over to the happiness overlay, you can see first that I don't have any problems with no money. Some of these homes are only angry with me because they cannot find shopping. As for building density overlay, you can see that a lot of my buildings are ready to go to the next level. And if I want to have enough workers to open my third casino, I will have to get them up to medium density. You will also notice these new hotels. These are high wealth hotels where each can take up to 60 high volt guests. So I have one, two, three, four of them and two are currently being built. I plan on having medium density high volt hotels along this ring and I also have one for medium wealth tourists and I will most likely have another one so that I can fill up these casinos to their maximum capacity for both high wealth and medium wealth tourists. My tourists are coming in from these three ferry terminals. Each has been upgraded with a cruise ship dock while the passenger ferry dock has been turned off for these two and only operational on this one. This is because my workers are commuting in by the ferry terminals passenger ferry dock from my second and my first city. Now let me show you the land value map. You can see that the around the hotels and the landmarks I have lots of lots of medium land value. There is also a good portion of high wealth land value in three places. This is because I'm trying to have a good mix of low wealth, medium wealth and high wealth, both workers and, and shopping, so that I won't have too many people commuting all over, all over the city just to find a place to work. This way low wealth and medium wealth workers can come into high wealth shops quite easily while the high wealth workers can go into the medium and low wealth shops as easily. I do not plan to either have a bus terminal or an airport or a train station in the city because a bus station and a train station end up getting me only medium wealth and low wealth tourists which I do not wish in my city. Ok I wish some of the medium wealth but not too many. And also I'm not building the airport, first of all, because I really don't have anywhere to put it. And second of all, as I told you before, it costs way too much compared to the amount of tourists that it can bring in. If you look at my boats in the transportation, you can see that I'm bringing in 12,000 high wealth tourists, while it only cost me maybe 2,000 in total. So why should I build an airport which costs about 3000 in total to bring in maybe 500 high wealth tourists. I have read on the forums that the airport might not be a bad idea for the tourists to be able to exit your city more easily, but for the moment even if I wanted to place it because of that fact 
I still wouldn't have where to put it. While recording this video, I came upon a stupendous traffic problem. Watch this. See this cement truck? It seems to be programmed to only go on the most uh, right lane. It does not wish see the next one, again the right lane. The school buses, same problem, the right lane. They do not seem to fathom doing exactly that, going to the middle lane when they see a clog, something like this, where all of these limousines are coming in from the Elgin Casino. And now you can see the school bus has stopped the traffic by staying here and waiting for a limousine to pass it by. But no limousine is going to stop and let it pass by. So it's gonna keep clogging up the street, clogging it up, clogging it up all the way to the intersection. And once a car stops here, just like this one stopped here to try and go into this street, another one is going to try and go into this street and this street is gonna be blocked. All because the school bus doesn't have the brains to go into the middle lane when it sees that the first lane is taken up for the traffic coming in from the Elgin Casino. And now your city is going to suffer just because somebody forgot to enter two lines and say if there's an exit from a ploppable building, use the middle lane. And now it's just gonna stand there and stand there and stand there and stand there and your traffic is gonna suffer. And whose fault is that? It's not your fault, but you're the one suffering from. It really pisses me off when I see something as stupid as that. So what am I going to have to do? Simple. I'm going to have to shut down this casino and open this casino to avoid that traffic problem right there. Now let's move on with the tutorial before I see something as stupid as that again. I'm not going to allow any low volt motels in this city, so I'll be bulldozing them as soon as I see them pop up. This building has been created as a shop again, so again, bulldozed. Hopefully the next time it's gonna be a hotel. I need to increase the land value in these pieces right here in order for them to create high wealth hotels. Since turning on additional elegant casinos on this ring would increase the land value but I simply don't have the workforce in order to make them operational. I will have to increase that land value by using parks. Now I have to be careful not to increase this land value up to high wealth or medium wealth and turn my homes from one wealth level to another because I have already placed enough of these parks to control their wealth level. So let's say I add So let's say I try to add a high wealth park about here. There we go. That worked. Zone here. And let's see if it's gonna give me a high wealth hotel. And it did. Excellent. Now I could try adding one more park here and seeing if that works as well. that changed a few of these homes. So we have to react with the zoning tool. Let's see what happens here. Shops for now, let's pull those those. Shop again, shop. Again, shops, come on, I want hotels, not shops. At this point you can take a look at this number here. If it is a red for high wealth tourists, it means that you actually need more hotels. If it is normal color, that means that even if you pop more commercial, it is not going to create hotels. So the best way of creating hotels is checking out this panel here, seeing if it's red, if it's red adding commercial and they should build the hotels. As you can see, since it is not red anymore, it will not build me any additional hotels. So I will be bulldozing this and unzoning. There seems to be finally no more limousines coming out from this casino and now the traffic is going to flow far better than before. There's not going to be a reason for them to get stuck right there. 
I'm going to leave these two hotels here while waiting for this one to be upgraded as well as this one. Now this casino should be operational and it is and it's already full with 300 high wealth tourists. Now it is becoming obvious that I really need to have more elegant casinos to be operational if I want to be earning more money. But if I want more of them to be operational I also need more workers and if I need more workers well I need to upgrade some of these low density streets into high density streets. So I'm gonna start from here while keeping my eye out on the zoning and seeing exactly which streets need the upgrade and I will be right back once I upgrade all of these streets to medium density. There we go, I have upgraded the entire city wherever I have zoned, I have upgraded to medium density streets and you can see that already low wealth, high wealth and medium wealth has become medium density. So now I'll be going through these neighborhoods, cleaning it up, for example if I see a low wealth home in a medium wealth neighborhood, bulldoze. If I see a low wealth home in a high wealth neighborhood, bulldoze. If I see a medium wealth home in a high wealth neighborhood, those I will be leaving but I will be dezoning so that they cannot turn into medium density low wealth because as I told you in one of my previous video, a low density medium wealth home takes up as much space as a low wealth medium density. So unless you dezone it, it's going to turn into medium density low wealth from low density medium wealth. At this point you also need to be careful that not too many of your commercial buildings somehow become hotels when they go to medium density. So you should keep your eye out on the tourism map for any new hotels building on places you do not wish them to be at. I will now probably be spending some time doing my thing where I make sure that every building has enough space and that I use as much of this space as possible for going to medium density. So I will talk to you in a bit. After spending some time and raising these buildings to medium density, I have managed to get far more workers. My number of tourists has also skyrocketed to 20,000 high wealth tourists per day and I am now going to build elegant casinos in this center part of my town and probably gonna add some more hotels as they become necessary. My first new casino is gonna be right here and I should now have just enough workers to make another one. I'm going to plop this one over here. Actually it looks like it would be better to put it up here. There we go. Now all that is left for me to do is to watch my casinos become operational and start earning me even more money. Once I reach high density I will be able to plop even more of these casinos and have even more money coming in every day. I am going to try and fill this entire ring with medium density hotels because if I were to go to high density with these hotels they will end up spawning way too many taxes. So hopefully I should be able to build this entire ring out of high wealth hotels and I will try to make this one a medium wealth hotel. Maybe I will find a spot somewhere for another one because it would be nice to also fill these casinos with the extra 100 medium wealth gamblers every day. Now some of you have mentioned the international airport in the comments on my videos so I would like to take a moment and talk about that. You can see at the moment that I have more than 20,000 high wealth tourists coming into my city each day from these three ferry terminals. Tell me why would I even need an international airport in this region when I already have even more high wealth tourists than I even have the capacity to take in. So it would be kind of pointless to now build an additional airport, the international airport and use the great work plot just in order to get a few hundred more tourists. Not only does it cost a hell of a lot and takes a hell of a lot to build but it also 
only brings in between several hundred and a thousand and a half new tourists when I already have 20,000 tourists. So there really is no need for me to build it. Maybe if I were to build a region entirely made of casino cities, that would be something that would be really cool to have. But in a region where one of my cities is mining, the other one education, one gambling, one will be metal and alloy production, and one will be fuel and plastic production, there really is no need to build an international airport. What I may actually end up building here on the Gradeworks is either a space center or an arcology. Now, arcology is quite necessary for this region because any way you turn it, you're always going to be short on workers. So having an arcology would help with that. But the drawback of having an arcology is the humongous increase in traffic. So you really have to weigh the benefits and the, the problems in both hands and see which one is better for you. The, as I said, arcology would give me the extra workers, but it would create a big problem on the highway connection between the cities. The space center would be good because it would get me some extra money from launching satellites and my second city, my processor and TV production city would also benefit from the extra skilled workers. So this may be the only grid work that would be really helpful for my region. If I take a look at these two hotels, I can see that they are very close to going up in density. So I'm once again going to zone commercial on them and hopefully they will turn into medium density hotel. Let's give them some extra time. If I take a look here, I can see that my high vault tourists have reached the number of 25,000 a day and all of these hotels are running at full capacity, earning me 70,000 per hour. I am earning upwards of 50,000 simulants per hour, which is more than excellent. The only problem that I have at the moment is the Oslo Opera House and the Sydney Opera House are not earning as much as they could. They are getting up to close to 100,000 but not fully because I do not have as many medium wealth tourists as I would like. That will be possible to fix once I get some more medium wealth hotels to be built. This one here that I'm waiting for and these two over here. Now it is kind of difficult to get medium wealth hotels when you do not have any casino specifically made for medium wealth and most of your casinos are high wealth or as it is in my case all of my casinos are high wealth so it may take more than a few tries to get the medium wealth hotels. I did have one here that I'm trying to get up to medium density now so it is possible but it may take a few tries. When it comes to the number of workers, I seem to be okay at medium density, but I am short on a hell of a lot of high wealth workers. This is because my first city doesn't really have a whole lot of high wealth workers for them to be commuting out. My second city also requires a lot of high wealth workers, as does my third city, so I am probably going to have to see about changing some of the medium wealth workers in my, in my second city into high wealth workers so that I could fill up this shortage in this city. I could also fix it by just waiting a little bit longer for the people who are living in this city to get to higher happiness and this will happen probably very fast because it seems to be very easy to get high wealth up to, to a high enough happiness level for them to grow to high density while the medium and low can take quite longer. This hotel seems to be, have enough happiness to grow as well, so I will zone some extra space for it to go up to medium density. Like I said, I'm going to stop at having medium density high wealth hotels on this ring and I'm going to attempt to have my city only made out of those hotels because as I said, high density hotels create a lot of taxes on a small amount of space so that is the type of hotel that you want to avoid and for the fourth or fifth time a shop no i want a hotel damn you
I think that this may end up being a hotel because of this blue and yellow construction setup but while this only blue construction setup seems to be producing these shops now it's just a theory I'm going to wait for this one to be finished before I can say it's a proven fact or not now I may be able to pop an additional casino somewhere around here but I'm not sure that considering the fact that I'm lacking 500 high belt workers that it would even start working so just to make sure that I do not end up closing a lot of shops or landmarks in my city just because of the lack of the workers I'm going to wait for some of these high belt homes to get enough happiness to go to high density and then once I build high density high belt homes and get far more of those workers then I will build the additional Elgin casinos but it seems that even with these how many is this one two three four operational Elgin casinos I am making 50,000 per hour and it seems to be a constant stream now the reason why I do not have too much variation is because of the number of high belt tourists you can see that I have 27,000 high belt tourists in my city every day this means that for every tourist that comes out of an elegant casino another high belt tourist takes his place so that is why these elegant casinos have a constant payoff of about 250,000 per day now adding the maximum number of medium well tourists would increase this maybe close to 300,000 so that is going to be my objective that is why I'm trying to get these two plops here to become medium well hotels and I think this one may just have become that yes excellent I'm hoping that this one and I think it is going to be a medium wealth medium density hotel when it comes to this one it seems that I was wrong and it is a shop even when it is blue and yellow construction I don't see any red buildings so that means that I do not seem to be having any out of money issues there just seems to be an issue with the appropriate setup of shopping so I'm probably going to have to spend some time on that nope it seems I was wrong it is a medium wealth shop so once again pull those and once again wait for it to start building something else now I seem to be hitting a little snag because my intention is to destroy the gambling HQ and this most of this city that is over here that I used only to unlock the elegant casinos for this city but for some reason I do not seem to be able to build the gambling HQ in this city I can't say with any certainty why this is happening I'm going to try because I have a hunch that this might be the answer maybe it needs to be opened I'm gonna wait for that yep <laughs> it seems I was right you cannot unlock a gambling HQ without first popping a gambling house so there it is now I have the gambling HQ here and now I can delete this gambling house it seems that my hunch was right Now I have upgraded it and now this gambling HQ will be enough to keep the elegant casinos unlocked in this city so I can bulldoze the one in the other city. I seem to have upgraded it to level 4 and now it is fully upgraded considering the amount of cash I am earning from all these elegant casinos. It would appear that a high vault medium density hotel looks like when it has blue and yellow construction but the yellow has to be on the middle and that is a hotel like this when it's completed so you can know how it is going to look like and that it is going to be a hotel and so that means that when you see a hotel going up with the yellow on the side you know that you can bulldoze it already because it's not gonna be a hotel and it's gonna save you some time 
you're not going to have to wait for a building to be finished to see is it going to be a hotel or a shop. Another look for the high for the medium density high volt hotels is when it has these two towers, which are obvious even when under construction. I'm closing down the gambling HQ because it requires a hell of a lot of jobs and it just drains the money, but there is really no need to have it on unless I want to actually build an elegant casino. So whenever I want to build an elegant casino, I just turn it on for a short while, build it and then turn it off again. As all of my, or should I say almost all of my low wealth have gone up to medium density, it has proven that I seem to have too many of them and too few medium and high wealth. So now I'm going to look at my land value map and see exactly where could I expand the high wealth land value and then by that extension the medium land value on account of low wealth. I seem to have a lot of low wealth in this neighborhood while well, over here almost none. So I'm going to expand this high land value up to these two streets and then the medium land value will upgrade these homes to medium wealth so that way I'll be able to lose these unemployed while I'm going to add more for the medium wealth and high wealth workers. Let's see now. We can place one park here. Then there should be enough space here for a high density building. And another park can be set about here. Now I know I told you that parks should be facing the street where the sims live, but in this case there would not be enough space. So in order to make sure that I'm going to have enough space for all of these buildings to go to high density, I'm going to place this park on this side. These shops won't be necessary anymore, so I'll place one of these parks here and this should fix the problem. Now I have expanded the high wealth land value a lot onto this side. It has then in turn expanded the medium land value up to here and now I'm gonna have far fewer low wealth workers, far more high wealth and medium wealth workers, which is going to balance out this unfilled and unemployed problem. Now this may require a personal touch because the sizes of these buildings are not the same when they are at low, medium or high wealth, so this may take some time. Now as you can see, just like I told you, some of these high wealth are very quick to get enough happiness to go even to high density. As I have changed a lot of buildings into high wealth and medium wealth, but I seem to still need more high wealth. I am going to appreciate this building going to high density and providing me with even more high volt workers. And there we go. First high density high volt building in my city. I think this one may follow close suit. These are not ready, so they will not be. Now as I have made sure to have a hell of a lot more workers, I'm going to build myself another elegant casino. For that I need to first turn on the gambling HQ, wait for the upgrade to be unlocked, there we go, elegant casino, and let's say we place this one somewhere like here. I can turn the gambling HQ off again and I can enjoy the extra profits. I'm not having much luck with getting a medium wealth hotel built. This is probably because they are not very attracted to my city on the account of no casinos being built specially for them. This may turn into a bit of a problem or I may just get 
lucky enough eventually and get one of those hotels to be built to medium density. I have managed to get low density medium well hotels a couple of times but no medium density. So hopefully I will be lucky enough to get one of those. It will help to increase the profits because at the moment all the profits are coming in from the high wealth gamblers while none of the medium are staying in my city long enough to gamble. My advisor seems to be telling me that I have a huge tourist demand but I don't have enough transportation to handle them. This is because a lot of low wealth and medium wealth tourists would like to come into my city using buses or trains or even the airport but I am not allowing any of those modes of transportation. So if you are running a city like mine you have to ignore that message. When it comes to the actual number of tourists you can see that there is quite a maritime traffic jam here. I have 43,000 high wealth tourists, 600 medium and 400 low wealth. I am having a problem with a hell of a lot of high wealth tourists taking up all the spaces on these cruise ships that really not enough medium wealth tourists are coming into my city and filling these casinos up using up the 100 capacity that is in each one of these elegant casinos. So that is one thing that seems to keep annoying me. Even the opera houses can't seem to go up to their full capacity because I do not have enough of those medium wealth level tourists. I am not entirely sure how I am going to fix that because they are supposed to be coming in by the ferry terminal. I may be able to fix that by plopping a casino, maybe a sci-fi casino or a slick casino. It may be fixable like that, I am not entirely sure. I may not even care, I may try, who knows, we'll see about that later on. So I think this video has gone on long enough, I am running quite a prosperous high wealth gambling city, I just need to increase my density a little bit, get some more workers, fill enough space here with one, two more elegant casinos, that should raise my profits up to close to 100,000 per hour and if I get those medium wealth tourists it is 100% going to be 100,000 simulants per hour. So that would be it guys for this time, thank you for watching and please stay tuned on my channel for more.